In this video, we'll be looking at Isotope RX-8, and spoiler alert, it's absolute magic. I've also got a very special offer to tell you about, so let's get started. Hi folks, I'm Mike, and I hope you're well. So once in a while, a product comes along and it really blows me away. And that's been the case with Isotope RX-8. In fact, I'm kicking myself because I've never used the RX series before. And if I had, I could have saved myself hundreds, if not thousands of hours, editing glitches out of my audio. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover some of my favorite features of this package, but I'm hardly scratching the surface. Check out the link in the description to find out about the different versions available and what's included. It's really amazing. Now also stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna be telling you about a very special offer from my friends at Plugin Boutique to do with this package. So do stick around for that. So let's get stuck in and see what magic is inside RX-8. So a great vocal performance can be ruined with plosives. This is the sound of wind rushing across the microphone and we particularly get it with p and b sounds. In the recording I'm about to play you, it's being caused by a t sound on the second word. You've taken my heart and you give it up. And again. You've taken my heart and you give it up. And one more time and remember to listen with headphones or studio monitors. You've taken my heart and you give it up. So I'm gonna apply Deplosive from RX-8 on its default settings. Let's see what difference it makes. You've taken my heart and you give. Like magic, it's gone. So you can get a really intimate sound from a vocal by having the singer very close to the microphone and singing nice and gently. The problem is we pick up all the pops and clicks and slaps that the human mouth naturally makes. Have a listen to this recording and I want you to listen out for the kind of slap sounds that you have on the word give. You've taken my heart and you give it up. Have a listen again, listen to the word give. You've taken my heart and you give it up. It's really unpleasant once you can hear it. So let's apply the mouth de-click feature in RX-8. And I've just adjusted the settings just a little bit with sensitivity and click widening and let's see what it's done. You've taken my heart and you give it up. I mean, that's like magic to me and it's gonna save me hours of time. So let's have a listen to this section where the singer takes a breath in between lines. Give it up, I'm trying to fix Now it's natural for us to hear breathing in vocals and if we get rid of it completely, it can sound very odd indeed. So I'm gonna use breath control in RX-8 just to tame that breath a little. Let's have a listen to it now, I've got breath control applied. Give it up, I'm trying to fix And again, the original recording. Give it up, I'm trying to fix And again, with breath control. Give it up I'm trying to fix. And just for fun, because I know you're all going to try this if you get RX-8, let's get rid of the breath completely. Give it up. I'm trying to fix. So at times we're going to pick up unwanted sounds from the headphones by the microphone. Let's have a listen to this recording where the drums have been picked up from the singer's headphones by the microphone. Beat up. I'm trying to figure out how to fill your cup. That's what we. Okay, so I'm going to apply D bleed in RX8, and I've also loaded up the original drums so it can use them as a reference. Now, the first couple of seconds here doesn't have it applied, so you will hear a couple of drum clicks. Let's see how it's done. Beat up. I'm trying to figure out how to fill your cup. That's what we do. And it's gone. So from time to time, we'll pick up an awful squeak sound when we record guitars, especially with chord changes. Let's have a listen to this little passage here and listen for that squeak sound towards the end with the last chord change. Did you hear that? Sounds awful. I'll just focus in on that part so you can listen again. So I'm gonna use the squeak feature, which is within the guitar denoise feature in RX-8. Let's see how it's done. I keep saying it's magic. 
So at times you're going to get some unwanted noise when recording electric guitar. Let's have a listen to this recording where there's a very annoying low hum. <laughs> So I'm going to use the amp section from within the guitar denoise feature in RX-8. Let's see how it does. No more humming. So eventually you're going to want the world to hear your music and you're going to have to create some different versions for different situations because the requirements for something say like Spotify are quite different to that of public radio for example. So in RX-8 we have this wonderful loudness control which is full of presets to make this job easier for you. So I've got my original audio here and I've selected the music streaming preset because I think it's really suitable for Spotify and I'm going to click the compare button there to add that over here here and we can listen to the original and then the Spotify version. So the original sounds like this. I don't buy what I've been sold that happened. And then with the Spotify version it sounds like this. I don't buy what I've been sold a lot louder as you can hear. So there's some really useful presets here including things like Contemporary Music Master and right down at the bottom here Public Radio in the USA or of course you can create the settings manually. Now there may be occasions where you want to rebalance a mix but you don't have access to the original files. So in RX-8 they have this music rebalance feature and you can see it's just like a simple mixer where we control the level of the vocals, the bass, the percussion and other instruments. Now it does take a little while to process files using this feature so I've pre-prepared some examples for you. So here is the original song as it was. I don't buy and here it is with a little bit of a vocal boost. I don't buy what I've been sold. Now on this occasion I've chosen to make the drums a little bit louder. I don't buy what I've been sold. So it's kind of amazing that it can do that with essentially a mastered file. Now, just for fun, and it's not really intended like this, let's do some things like removing things completely. So in this version, I've completely removed the vocals so we just get an instrumental version. Okay, sounds a little bit weird, but fun. Now in this version, what I've done is get rid of everything else except for the drums. So as I say, this is not what this was intended for, but I've got to say, I'm still kind of impressed. So I've been focusing on just a few of the music production features in RX-8, but there's a lot more to it than that. If you're involved at all with the production of spoken word, things like podcasts or maybe even video like this, then you should definitely check out the features to do with that. Just follow the link in the description down below to find out about the different versions available and what they include. Now if you do follow that link, it's going to take you to Plugin Boutique. They have a very special offer on at the moment. If you buy any of the versions of RX-8 then you're going to get a complimentary copy of Isotope Trash 2 and also U-Jam Carbon which I covered on the channel before you can watch that video just here. It's an awesome offer I think it's available until the end of September 2020 so definitely take advantage of that. You're going to get around about 200 US dollars worth of software for free just by buying RX-8. Now I want to know from you in the comments down below what was the most mind-blowing feature that you saw in this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. If you did like this video make sure you hit the like button and if you do like this kind of content subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. Don't forget you can now support me on Patreon as well. There's a link for that down in the description and I'll see you in the next video.